Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're gonna be working with ADB Tools, which stands for Android Device Bridge. And we're specifically gonna be copying some images and videos from my cell phone onto my local file system. I am working on a Mac, and if you've never worked with ADB before, I think you'll find this video really useful as an introduction into some of the commands that you can issue. You can actually send files to the phone, get files off the phone, a whole bunch of things. You can actually interact with it uh, as a shell. And we're gonna actually do that in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get on into it if that's something you're interested in. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you install ADB. If you don't have it installed, uh, I'll have a video linked on this video or down below for you guys to follow, specifically installing it on a Mac. There's lots of literature about how to install ADB on Windows or Linux. So once you're at that point, we can begin the tutorial. Okay, so what I'm gonna first do is type in ADB devices, uh, D-E-V devices, and there is currently no devices, Android devices attached to our computer. That's because I haven't plugged in my phone yet. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. And the first time you plug in your phone to your computer, you might get a prompt that says, do you wanna enable USB debugging? Go ahead and just say yes and remember my choice for next time. Um, and then you can come back here to the terminal and type in ADB devices and you'll see, oops, I spelled it wrong, ADB DEVI devices. And now you can see that my device is attached to the computer. So like I mentioned before, there is a command that we can actually um, basically log into the phone and interact with it. Like we are interacting with the local file system on our Mac computer using like LS and CD and all those commands. So you could do that with ADB shell. And now we are on my OnePlus 5T cell phone on the in the root of the file system. So we can look around here with LS and we have all these different folders. Um, the one we're interested in is the SD card folder. So CD SD card. And in here you'll see a digital camera internal memory folder. So I'll go into that folder, digital camera internal memory. And inside there you'll see a couple other folders. The one we're interested in is camera. Okay, so in here are, you know, hundreds, maybe even thousands of pictures and videos that I took um, over the course that I had this phone. But uh, let me just explain something real quick to you. One issue that I had when I was daily vlogging a year or two ago was that at the end of every day, I would want to copy all the pictures from my cell phone and all the videos from my cell phone from that day onto my Mac so I can edit them in a video editor. Now, the problem with that was ADB didn't allow you to use the wildcard character to copy everything over at the one at one time. So let me just show you uh, what I mean by that. And let me show you a solution for copying over all the pictures and videos from a single day. So here, um, here is, uh, we'll do LS uh, videos from 2020-08 and today is the 22nd star. Right, so these are all the videos that I took today on my on my cell phone. So let's exit out of um, our Android device bridge, and let's use the ADB pull command to just pull one of these files. So we can give it the full path. So dash sd or slash sd card, digital camera internal memory camera, and if you haven't caught on, I'm just referencing this path here slash, uh, we'll pick one of these videos, this one right here, copy and paste. So go ahead and hit enter and you can see it copying right here and it's finished, we can ls and there is that file. If we go into a uh, Windows Explorer, not a Windows Explorer, a finder window and go into the root of our computer, which is where I was at in the tut tutorial folder, you can see what this video looks like. Okay, so we have that on here, but what if I want to copy everything over? This is the problem that I was facing. So kind of like we did the LS up above, all the videos for today. If you wanted to pull all the videos from today, we can, you'd think you can use the wildcard character, but it just doesn't let you do that. It, it, the wildcard character, the asterisk is not supported for ADB pull. So how do we get around that? Well, we can use a combination of the ADB shell command and a couple other Linux commands in order to um, pretty much get a listing of all those files and copy them over one by one. So let me show you how to do that. I have my cheat sheet over here 
And basically what we're gonna be doing is issuing the adb shell command, kind of like we did with the ls command, a combination of those two. So adb shell and then ls sd card, Digital camera, digital camera, internal memory camera, and then all the videos from today with that star. So that will just return a list of all of those video files. And now if we pipe that into the TR command and we pretty much want to, um, uh, we want to get rid of all the return characters and that way there's like, you know, everything's gonna copy over safely. Um, so it looks the same, the output looks the same, but that's just a necessary step. And then we can pipe that finally into, uh, let me just copy it for ease, like, so we don't screw anything up. Um, so XRX, that basically executes each line from this output one at a time. And then we can basically ADB pull directly each one of these files individually. So let's go ahead and execute that, see if it works out. And I think it'll just overwrite um, the existing file that I already copied over, but let's let's monitor it while we're doing this. So in the tutorial directory, here is that file. We'll put that here and that here, and let's go ahead and execute it. So there we go. You can see the first file copying over. You get the progress bar here, which is really good. It's uh, 50%, and when that finishes, we'll go on to the next one. So it's pulling the one that I recorded at 9 a.m. this morning, now 9.03 a.m., now 9.09 a.m., and that's just gonna loop there until it gets through all of these files. That is um, hopefully something that is useful for you. You can, this doesn't have to be with the digital camera the DCIM folder or videos, files, or image files. This can be with any files on your Android phone. Um, you can, I, I encourage you to just go into your shell, your ADB shell, and look around, have a look around, see what your Android phone is made out of, see what's under the hood. If you're, I mean, maybe you work for, um, maybe you make mobile apps or something. Maybe you work with Android phones every day. But for those of you who are new to this, um, I'm hoping this points you in the right direction and gets you started with some, some cool things that you can do with a combination of Linux commands, some programming, um, stuff like that. So guys, if that's something you found useful, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.